Hello, welcome back to another episode of George on Philosophy. I'm your host, George. Today we delve into a thought-provoking query that intertwines the workings of the human mind with metaphysical explorations. Can we choose our emotions, or do they just happen? Uh, to address this question, we have to first deconstruct the very nature of emotions. What are they? At their core, emotions are biological states associated with our neural systems brought on by neurophysiological changes variously associated with thoughts, feelings, behavioral responses, and a level of pleasure or displeasure. They are integral to the human experience as they guide us in our interaction with the world around us. Some philosophers argue that emotions are mere physiological responses to external stimuli. That's to say, they just happen. When you see a lion, you feel fear. When you smell a rose, you feel pleasure. This is a deterministic view of emotions, suggesting we are mere slaves to our senses and the hormone-induced emotions they trigger. However, on the flip side, some argue that our emotions are within our control. We've all heard phrases such as choose to be happy or don't let anger control you. This standpoint posits that, perhaps, we have the capacity to dictate what emotions we can feel at various moments in our lives. Is this just a motivational rhetoric or is there some truth to this? According to various cognitive theorists, there is a great deal of truth to this perspective. They submit that emotions are a product of both our physiological reactions and our mental state. To them, our mind interprets and evaluates stimuli, and it's that interpretation, not the stimuli itself, that gives rise to emotions. If we subscribe to this belief, then indeed, we can affect, if not completely control, our emotions. Through cognitive reframing or restructuring, we can alter the way we perceive experiences and thus our emotional response to them. If we perceive a life difficulty as a challenge rather than a setback, we may feel motivated instead of defeated. The Stoics, a group of ancient philosophers, held similar beliefs, teaching that we cannot control or avoid what happens in life. We can only control our reaction to it. Hence, our emotions are firmly within our control. There's an empowering thought. As we explore this question further, it is important to acknowledge that neither perspective should negate the value of emotions, whether chosen or not. Emotions, in all their turbulence and tranquility, are a vital part of the human experience. They color our world, infuse our life with meaning, and often offer us direction when we're lost in the labyrinth of life. Yet, as we step off into the abyss of choice versus determinism, remember that much of our understanding of emotions, consciousness, and the human mind is still very much a mystery. Our exploration, thus, is as much a philosophical quest as it is a psychological, biological, and spiritual one. And with that, we reach the end of our exploration for today. Let me encourage you, dear listeners, to take a moment and reflect. Consider your emotions, their origins, and their power. Do you feel in control of them, or at their mercy? A question only you can answer. Thank you for joining me on this philosophical journey. This is George on Philosophy, signing off. Until next time, harness the power of reflection and let your emotions illuminate the parts of your mind.